So right after Apple's big WWDC keynote, Google has quietly launched the June Pixel feature drop, which we're more interested in here anyway. Let's get into what's new with this latest update. Before we dissect the June Pixel feature drop, how about you hit the subscribe button though, this really does help me more than you know that it will. Then if you want exclusive content like monthly wallpaper packs or even our feature drop designs, including all of our back catalog of wallpapers, then slap the join button and learn more about what we offer. I think it's really good value for money. First of all, a little bit of housekeeping as the June feature drop also includes all of the good stuff that you've probably seen in Android 14 QPR3 beta releases. So if some of this does look familiar, you'll know why, and we'll leave that to the end of the video. There is a lot of extra things to unpack that Google has announced. A lot of it is for the Pixel 8 series, so stay tuned to the end to learn how also to get our celebrity wallpapers on top of that. Let me also start off by saying that no, sadly, Zoom Enhance still isn't here. Where is it? Well, go check out our deep dive into where this potentially is and the problems that Google has to overcome with this AI-powered photography feature via the link on screen now. It's super frustrating that Google is dragging the heels on this one, but it isn't here in the June feature drop as some of you out there probably would have hoped it would have been. That said, after some terrible online discourse around this entire feature, Pixel 8 and 8a users do though now have Gemini Nano on device with the developer option in their Pixel settings to access this, Google's most efficient AI models built for on-device tasks. To enable this, just go to the settings app after enabling developer options that is, and search for AI core settings. Once a large model is downloaded, you can access features like Summarize in Pixel Recorder, Magic Compose in Google Messages, and better Gboard Smart Replies. Third-party apps that leverage Gemini Nano are also coming in future, so it's good to enable this if you do have the option on your Pixel 8 and Pixel 8a. On that note as well, the Pixel Recorder's app summarize feature on these three phones can detect and include speaker label names that you've added. Sadly, this is limited to the US English for now and Pixel 6 and newer, but it's a nice feature that we're happy to see come to the Pixel Recorder application, which itself is really underutilized on Pixel phones. Another big update is for the Pixel 8 series, and that is display port support. So with the June feature drop on the Pixel 8a, the Pixel 8 and the 8 Pro, you're now able to connect your phones to a larger screen using a USB-C cable, creating a more immersive experience for watching movies, shows, and viewing slides. And it really is a nice extra option, which means you can turn your Pixel 8 into a bit more of an entertainment hub. The improved Find My Device feature can now also locate your Pixel 8, 8 Pro, and even 8a when the device is turned off or the battery happens to die. The feature keeps location data encrypted to maintain user privacy, but it won't work indefinitely for around about 23 hours or so after you power down. So at least if you do lose your phone, you might have a snapshot window where you could potentially find it again. The Pixel 8's camera has now improved with a HDR Plus feature, which automatically identifies the best moment from a photo taken with a single shutter press. This ensures that the capture of in-focus images, particularly on faces, is prioritized. And it does seem a little bit like the top shot functionality that we have seen on other devices, but it should mean that you'll get better photos with more people in focus when you do take them and you'll have more options to do so. Speaking of extra camera features, if you have the Pixel Fold, Pixel 6 Pro or 7 Pro, you're getting a little bit of the Pro camera mode that is found on Pixel 8 series with this June feature drop because you can now manually select the camera lens while you're taking photos, providing greater control over capturing your specific images and getting the desired shots that you want. It's not the full Pro mode, but it is a little step towards that. It's a really nice addition. With the Pixel tablet plus the Pixel 6 and newer, you'll also get a new reverse phone lookup option that can quickly identify unknown callers just by performing a reverse phone number search directly from your call logs. And it may be really nice and useful to get rid of those spam callers and find out who exactly is calling your phone on a daily basis. The Pixel Watch 2 also introduces some important safety features of its own with the June feature drop. And one of these is car crash detection, something you've probably used on your Pixel phone for a while now. So if a severe accident is detected, the watch can check on the user and automatically contact emergency services if needed. The Pixel Watch features don't stop there as Wear OS users can now also enjoy quicker and more convenient access to your smart home devices with the redesigned Google Home app for this hardware. You get access to all of your Google Home favorites with the swipe, control devices directly from your watch face, and enjoy expanded control options within the app, just making it more convenient on this particular smaller screen. The Google Home Favorites app widget is also now expanding to all phones and tablets running Android 12 or higher as of this June feature drop. 
It's a quick access home screen panel that lets you control smart home hardware with just a tap without needing to actually open the full fat home application. Some of you out there might already have this, but it is expanding more widely as of the June feature drop. There's one more thing here to note as with VPN by Google One going away later this month, Pixel 7, 7 Pro, 7a and Fold owners now will have access to Pixel VPN by Google instead. While already available on the Pixel 8, 8 Pro and 8a, this provides a more integrated experience that does away with the persistent one notification that you'll see in the status bar. Just something that this OTA changes if you were wondering and if you're wondering if it has disappeared on your device. No, it's just change name and remove that persistent notification. As I mentioned at the start of this video, that's not all though, as a QPR beta functionality is also rolling out here too. We've catalogued these changes before on the channel, but let's run through these anyway for the sake of full completeness. So when you install this, you should get new haptic feedback for the brightness slider that lets you know with a gentle vibration when you've reached that maximum or even minimum brightness levels, ensuring that you've got that perfect screen setting. Additionally, for those of you who prefer a quieter typing experience, a new toggle allows you to completely disable keyboard vibration, a feature that was first introduced in the Android 15 Beta 1 update, and it's another welcome addition in the feature roster in stable Android 14 builds. The update to passwords, passkeys, and autofill also reflects the industry shift towards more secure password and passkey logins, ensuring that your data remains protected. Additionally, this hints at functionalities aimed at identifying and potentially blocking malicious applications, although the specifics are still very much under development. Exciting possibilities are also brewing on the camera front as well. A new allow camera software extension setting possibly paves the way for advanced camera controls and features, including by third-party applications, taking your mobile photography to new heights. It's not clear how this will develop at this stage, but we could learn more when the next version of the Android 15 beta drops, which is gonna be hopefully very soon. The touch sensitivity section also has been reorganized for better overall usability. It now has its own dedicated space within the settings menu and boasts a new landing image to provide clearer visual feedback when adjusting that screen protector mode. The high quality webcam mode that is included here also hints at what Android 15 might hold for us in future. This intriguing feature prioritizes crystal clear video calls, but be aware it may come at the cost of increased battery drain and potential overheating of your phone. In essence, that's the June 2024 feature drop. There's a few things you've probably seen before and hopefully some things that you haven't. I wouldn't necessarily call this a small update by any stretch of the imagination. I think it's probably perfectly sized, more so if you have the Pixel 8 series. Sadly, not everything is available for every device. And we'll delve into what fixes at this has brought in the Pixel update bulletin, which is coming very soon. So stay tuned for that. If you're wondering, is my phone performance improved as a result of the June feature drop? Stay tuned, I will have a video for you. And also, I wanna add again, if you want the latest Pixel Feature Drop wallpapers that we've created for this series in a dark and light mode option, hit that like button. I think if we get to the lower bar of 2K likes, I'll share them with you. I know a few of you were complaining that, hey, the bar was too high, but if you're a channel member, you get early access to these anyway. So consider becoming a true 95 Google champion like those on screen now. They're the real legends. Thanks for watching though. I hope you enjoyed this Feature Drop deep dive and I will speak to you later.